The following is a Bunker Busters Tour presentation. Now your host, Chuck Phillips. Ladies and gentlemen, sports and golf fans around the world, thanks for joining us today. I'm Chuck Phillips here live at Augusta National Golf Course in Augusta, Georgia, home to the Masters. Today, we will be following the Bunker Busters Tour season, Road to the Masters. Over the past three weeks, we've watched some fantastic individuals play golf especially this individual, Sleeve 1080. He started off the season with a bang on his own course designed after the beautiful Highland Woods Golf and Country Club in Bonita Springs, Florida. Let's roll the highlights. We open up with coverage from the first round. Here's his second shot on the 14th. Okay, I like that. Looking to stick it close here, and he says he likes it, and here's Sit why. Right down in the hole. <laughs> Baby! What a shot. And if you don't think it can get any closer than that, last shot, check out this round two coverage. Second shot from the 12th. That'll be fine. Listen to Sit. the crowd in the background. Come back a little bit. Look at the finesse come and backspin ball, on this ball. ball. He's asking for it to come ball, back, ball. come back, come back, and baby, it's in. Baby, baby. Let's go, baby. A beautiful 48-yard pitch shot. We just have to check this one out again. Just working his magic and drawing that ball right back down into the cup. Amazing. But the magic happened on day three where he went back-to-back -back eagles on six and seven. Here's his drive on the par five. Second shot. Didn't get all of it, dude. Go, though. Rolls it up it onto, the green. onto the green. We'll be okay. All right. Now run, baby. Run. Catch that next tier. Catch that next tier, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Baby. All right, we'll take that all day. I like it. Leaves himself with almost just a tap-in for Eagle. Straight away, 10-footer, no break, easy pop. Looks like it's dead in the hole. Stroke and boom. Eagle, Eagle, Eagle. Definitely happy with that one, but no one was expecting what was about to happen on the next hole. That was hole number six. All right, sweet. After a nice drive with good placement on the fairway, he had this second shot 156 yards to the pin, dialed in. Let's the nine mile an hour wind suck that back right towards the flag stick and the result. Oh baby, baby, let's go, baby. Get in there. That's from way downtown, kids, way downtown. That's right, folks. Golf just doesn't get much more exciting than this. Let's take another look. Save the replay. Let's go. With a second place finish in week one, runner up to Corey Moses, who won the first week's tour event. And then in week two at Carolina Pines, another course designed by one of the Bunker Buster Tour members, Bam Bam, Sleeve 1080 clutched his first victory. He started off this event with a bang. Let's roll the highlights. 142 yards out, his second shot on the very first hole, and we captured this. An eagle on the first to start off the round. What a way to open up this second week event. And he would stay dialed in all week, and everyone knows you just have to. In this second week event at Carolina Pines, some of the thinnest, toughest fairways to hit, and uh, Sleeve was on all week. Just check out this drive. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll approve that. Second shot here on the seventh. Splitting the bunkers and finding the thinnest part of the fairway, he would go on to capitalize on that drive and make birdie here. Little play. About 17 feet to the cup. Oh, 
let's head towards the hole. Setting up here, green side. We've rough. talked about the thin fairways out here at Carolina Pines, but look at the width and pin placement of this green on the fifth. All risk, all reward if you're going to fire at the flag stick here. Sleeve 1080 took that risk and found himself just off the fringe of the green in the first cut of rough. A difficult birdie putt here. But as you know, his putting has been on all season and not a surprise that he sinks this birdie putt. Way to get that birdie. Speaking of difficult birdie putts, check out this 38-foot putt on hole six in the fourth round. His caddy and him took a little extra time lining this one up, and it definitely paid off because it's putts like this that won the event. Oh, this one could drop. Yep, I knew you had it in you. Great way to bounce back, birdieing this one after bogeying the last. Great stuff. And then in week three at the Valero Open at TPC San Antonio, he clutched a back-to-back -back win, shooting a fantastic, amazing 69 under. We had the on-course Cam and Mike with this player following him through the event at this week at nice. the Valero Open. Okay, with it. go, go, go. No! Just a little too much poopy on that ball, leaving himself with a 58 foot that was putt. A big, big mistake. All right. Left, right, left, finish. Um. Just got to take a read. Somewhere in there. Oh, it could be. Baby! Baby! Huge birdie putt to close out the first round. All right. Not a bad round. This looks like about a Did not affect us. We got a little four mile an hour wind. Normal shot. A little gap wedge in there. It'll get sucked back just a bit. Green's breaking a hair. I think like right in there is probably good. Nice shot. Nice shot. This one's looking good. That will play, kids. That will play. We'll take that. We just need those all day long. Baby! Baby! Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. No way. Well, that's too bad. I'm pretty sure you weren't planning on that. It's okay. I was not planning on that. Setting up in the bunker here. Like to drain this. Wow, what a birdie save. What a birdie save. And finally on day four to finish out the round with a 55 and shoot 69 under for the event. Let's head over to the 18th and catch this action. I don't think I got enough on it. Damn it. And that's why you're way up top on the leaderboard looking down at everyone else. Fantastic work. And for a score of 55 today. Let's well, head towards the hole. There she is. And you're finishing things off. <sighs> All right. 69. Let's go. We thank you for joining us again today live for the 2023 Bunker Busters Tour Road to the Masters. And don't forget to catch this weekend's event live on Twitch. Go to twitch.tv slash sleeve 1080 as certainly all eyes will be on Amen Corner and these individuals as they play golf's greatest event, 
the Masters. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chuck Phillips, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. This has been a Bunker Busters Tour live event hosted by Chuck Phillips. You think we should put anything else in there's like, I guess there's like the background and stuff. We can put some things like yeah, pictures and stuff like, up. The, like Chuck Phillips on the I mean, should I say anything more about like the tour or, you know, anything like that? Probably not. Nobody's going to watch it anyway. Probably not. <laughs> so you've spent your morning, <laughs> you spent your morning not feeling good with a sunny sore throat. So you made yourself a bacon chicken sandwich out of the air fryer and you said, I'm going to rearrange, rearrange my living room and put up, <laughs> I'm going to rearrange my living room and put up a green screen and get out all of these equipment and put backlighting in it for seven viewers on YouTube. <laughs> Nobody's watching you anyway, don't worry. So, uh, I could tell some more details about history of the Masters Golf Tour. No one cares. <laughs> no one's gonna care. And we're live. And today our sponsor is Ray Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And don't forget to. And we couldn't go another second without forgetting to mention Express VPN. <laughs> <laughs> I've really enjoyed my Ridge Wallet. <laughs> I can stick my cards everywhere. <laughs> and our sponsor, Red Bull. <laughs> and our sponsor, Air Fried Chicken Sandwich. <laughs> Actually, you should go get one of the air fried chicken sandwiches and we'll put it out right <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. We're having lunch. And we couldn't end this program without forgetting to mention today's sponsor for the video, Crispy Chicken Air Fried Sandwich. All right. Crispy Chicken Sandwich. This has been a Bunker Busters Tour live event hosted by Chuck Phillips. <laughs>